good morning students let us start chapter number 3 in political science ncert book that is electoral politics first thing is that in this chapter we will talk only about the elections and the merits and the demerits of elections and the election procedure tick first why do we need elections finding out if the people like their representatives or not requires a mechanism by which people can choose their representatives and change them at a different levels that is why elections are necessary in other words to form the government we need elections now what makes an election democratic there are so many countries in the world that are conducted the elections but all the countries having elections cannot be called as truly democratic country so certain requirements are there these are first everyone should be able to choose their representatives second parties and candidates should be free to contest elections third elections must be held regularly after certain interval of time as you know that in india we have elections after every 5 years the candidates preferred by the people should be elected elections should be conducted in a free and fair manner now how election procedure took place in india yes that is actually all done by an independent organization known as election commission so on the date fixed earlier the voting is held for voting elections both are set up voters used to go to these polling booths and vote the candidate of their choice after the voting is over after the voting is over the ballots are sealed and taken to the counting centers therefore the ballot boxes are opened before the candidates or their agents and votes are counted the candidates having the highest number of vote wins the election i think this is clear to you now made it in favor of universal adult franchise universal adult franchise means right to vote so what are the points what are the arguments which are in favor of universal adult franchise the system is truly democratic as it gives political equalities to all the citizens irrespective of their caste creed gender etc adult franchise spread the message that all the citizens are equal and no one is privileged this promotes national unity the system roses political awakening among the citizens now there are some points which are against the universal adult franchise we call them as the demerits the illiterate persons are not able to exercise their right to vote properly poor people are liable to sell their votes and this system is very expensive large scale arrangements have to be made for the elections 
तो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज वी हैव सो मेनी चैलेंजेस ऑफ द इंडियन इलेक्शन तो वॉट आर दो कैंडिडेट्स एंड पार्टीज विद लॉट ऑफ मनी मे नॉट बी श्योर ऑफ देयर विक्ट्री बट दे डू एंजॉय अ बिग एंड अनफेयर एडवांटेज ओवर स्मॉलर पार्टीज एंड इंडिपेंडेंट्स इन सम पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री कैंडिडेट्स विद अ क्रिमिनल कनेक्शन और बैकग्राउंड हैव बीन एबल टू पुश अदर आउट ऑफ इलेक्टोरल रेस एंड टू सिक्योर अ टिकेट फ्रॉम मेजर पार्टीज सम फैमिलीज टेन टू डोमिनेट पोलिटिकल पार्टीज टिकट्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू द रिलेटिव फ्रॉम दीज पोलिटिकल पार्टीज वेरी ऑफन द इलेक्शन आफ्टर अ लिटिल चॉइस टू ऑर्डिनरी पीपल फॉर बोथ द मेजर पार्टीज आर क्वाइट सिमिलर टू ईच अदर बोथ इन पॉलिसीज एज वेल एज इन प्रैक्टिस आई होप you are able to understand the summary of this chapter goodbye thank you